Thanks, Stan with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Impact Segment tonight. As we told you at the top of the program, the whole nation is engaged in this O'Reilly view Muslim debate, which is a good thing. So how is it playing on talk radio? Joining us now from Washington, Mark Levine, liberal radio talk show host on WPFW. And from Los Angeles, Tammy Bruce, who hosts an Internet uh, chat show. So, Tammy, what are you uh, hearing and reading from uh, people you deal with? Well, the first reaction was when they left the set, suddenly the view became watchable when it was just you and Barbara and, <laughs> and the, the other gals. The second reaction was they all should have left, leaving it just for you so it would have been the factor in the <laughs> afternoon, making it perfectly watchable. Right. People were thrilled. I mean, they, they were thrilled. And it clearly was, it seemed like a stunt to people, but they loved how you handled it. It clearly addressed the issue of political correctness, which is ridiculous, as, as you've mentioned throughout the show, uh, perfectly well, kind of a ridiculous complaint. And I think there, it, it's kind of like the, a car wreck, that show. It's like you slow down to watch it, and you were like the ambulance that came, and people kind of had a sigh of relief that somebody's going to be there to save them. <laughs> and they went on with it again today because they know even you, the ghost of you, gives them uh, bigger ratings. So well, it, everyone well, was amused. And, I mean, that, that well, show's fairly successful. They were successful thrilled with, with what you did. How about you, uh, Mr. Levine, from the liberal precincts? Well, my, liber my liberal listeners were thrilled as well, though for exactly opposite reasons. They thought that Joy and Whoopi were absolutely right to walk out. They felt that the walkout forced your apology, and they were glad to hear your did apology. They understand, they did Joy they understand my apology in. was not about what I said? It was about if, look, if somebody took it the wrong way, I certainly that was my, not my attention. But I'll stand by what I said all day long. Muslims killed us on 9-11, and there is a huge Muslim problem in the world. Do your listeners refute there is a huge Muslim problem in the world? Bill, there are all kinds of huge problems in the world. I, we understand there's a huge intra-Muslim battle, and the worst thing possible is to throw all of them together. Okay. I mean, let's face it. Now, I could you, say on the uh, air, well, well, Christians committed mark, the Holocaust. Mark, mark, Okay. Would they have said the same thing, then, about the Japanese? They, they, look. Tojo and those guys, they hijacked that government, and they right. basically did what they wanted. But most of the Japanese people didn't want that. I mean, and that's that true of that Iran crazy. today. So, that's so, true of Iran today. I think you'll find the most pro-American people in the Middle East are the Iranian people, even though they're led by a bunch of dangerous whack jobs but that's who might not quite blow true. up Israel. There are enough Iranians, and the polls show this, that support the crazy mullahs for them to maintain power. If all the vast of the majority people don't bill, you know that. No, no, they, it's they a secret police state. But just elections. like the Shah, they would be overthrown if the majority of people didn't want them there. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that I, I don't understand a liberal mindset when you give example after example after example, and it's still oh, it's only a few people. Now, Tammy, you used to be a liberal. Do you understand the mindset? Well, it, it's this. It, the first element is is that America is always wrong, and that's of course incorrect, of course. But the second dynamic is this is where the failure is, is that by us not addressing it specifically as a Muslim problem, it kind of takes the emphasis off of the, the issue needing to be dealt with within the Muslim community, which is why this thing continues on. But the liberal mindset is this refusal to acknowledge that something might not be our fault and that there's something, look, we can't, we can't solve this issue. Muslims have to solve the issue, and the only way to do that is to make sure that everybody knows really who's at issue here, and it certainly isn't us. Is there an Israel component in this, Mr. Levine? Um, because no. I, yes, no? no. Look, as a liberal on the panel here, I'd like to give the liberal mindset. The liberal mindset is we want to stop terrorists from killing us. And we know that an overreaction to hate all Muslims caused more Muslims to hate us. But we who understand hates we all liberals, Muslims? That there's who not a set that? number of terrorists out but there. But who hates all Muslims? And if we Muslims? condemn all Muslims, we're going to get more terrorists all out right. there. All that's, right, that's a nice speech. But I don't know it's anybody true. outside of that nut in Florida who we just, you know, hammered on this program who wanted to burn the Koran. Who hates all Muslims? Who? Me? Do I hate all Muslims? That's insane. I don't think you hate all Muslims, Bill, but it's, 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 look, what you said is true in a, only in a technical sense, right? I wouldn't say Christians bomb abortion clinics, even though the people who bomb abortion clinics profess Christianity Would you and do say, it in the name uh, of Mr. Christianity. Levine, I've heard this before. Wait a minute. Would you say that if a nation harbored abortion bombers, an entire nation harbored them, then you would be accurate to say that? Afghanistan, under the Taliban, a theocracy, harbored al-Qaeda, an entire nation run right. by Muslims. 
run okay. by Muslim Don't dictators called the Taliban. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. And if you want to attack the Taliban or Afghanistan or Al Qaeda, I'm fine with it. If you want to attack the Nazis, I'm fine with it. But when you, you know, we didn't say, we talked about this months ago, Mr. O'Reilly, we didn't say the Germans. We said the Nazis. No, we, understood we there was said nothing the inherently Germans, about and, there were, Germans and there were terrible was bad. slang words for Germans. I'm going to give Tammy there the were, last word. But that was wrong, too. You shouldn't all right, tar all, right. all Germans for the Nazis. You shouldn't tar our Look, Christians you guys, for the abortion. Nobody's bar. doing that. Look, Go ahead, Tammy. Here, here, we, we've had, we've tried the liberal way for two years, and just today there's a recognition that we're at a terror threat now that is similar to pre-911. So bowing to Muslim nations and saying it's all Who's our fault, we've got to get over that narcissism, uh, that guy called Barack Obama. Uh, you know, Tammy, so when you Tammy, do that, we George found w. that it's Bush made the terror the threat, excuse me. The terror threat has gone up, and we are, Europe knows it, and we know it. That's what it's gotten us. All right, Even I got to go. Bush I got to go. Recognize um, that distinction. Interesting between discussion. Muslims and terrorists. But there is a huge gulf, and I think this debate shows it, between the liberal mindset on this threat and the conservative or traditional mindset. Thanks very much. Reality Check on Deck tonight, starring.